time to warm you up for your phonics today with the song Be a Stone West Lives When You're Looking Like That called It's a Die Graph. Are you ready? You can get yourself a microphone. I just got this mop and you can sing along. Are you ready? Let's get it going. It's a die graph. Our new phonics song, two letters make one sound. Like the sh in shout, ow in out, shout it out. We all like the chicken chips. In sleep bay and stay, eat a cup of tea. Say you never miss the qu queen on the throne. Cause I failed to tell. What you're learning about today? Ready? Ooh. A. O. Ooh. It's a trigraph, and a trigraph is three letters that make one sound. Yo, and welcome to Flying With Phonics. I hope you enjoyed the song at the beginning, get those singing um, voices warmed up, ready for phonics. It's time to review the sounds that you already know. Today is a review day, wooka wooka wooka, review day. We're gonna review the sounds that we already know, and the three brand new ones from this week. Ah, ah, uh. So let's see, first of all, What's in the box? Doom doom tsh, 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 doom doom What's in the box? What's in the box? Yo yo, I said what's in the box? What's in the box? Woo woo! Right, okay, we've got all of these sounds that you already know. Excellent. And then we've got the brand new ones from this week. Let's see. We had R. Or, uh, and all three of them are digraphs. If you know what a digraph is, tell the person beside you at home, a digraph is two letters that make one sound. Two letters, one sound. I'm gonna hide them in the sounds that you already know. Ooh. And goodbye, Sunny Jim. I mean, you see them, there it is. There it is. Are you ready? It's time to play. Say what you see. Say what you see. Say what you see. If you see it, say it. Stop. Ready, point, go. A, A, A. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Qu, qu, qu. Z, z, z. Two ways to say this one. Same letters, different sounds. So this one is uh, 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 like look, look, look. Let's go for the next one. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. You, you, you. You just hear that bird. Anyway, where were we? Uh, uh, uh. Hold on a second. Uh, there it is. Uh, there it is. Uh, there it is. Moving on. I, 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 and I is a trigraph, three letters that make one sound. Ooh, 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 like the uh, same letters but different sound, and this one is ooh, ooh, ooh. Something kinda ooh when a cow goes moo, moo, moo. E, e, e. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, 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 there it is. Ah, there it is. Ah, there it is. Oh, yeah. Shh, shh, shh. And 
There's two ways to say that one. And also, woo! Well done! Okay, so now we've got some words right here that's got our three diagraphs from this week. And there might be a sneaky word in there with a different sound in it. And I'll see who's been paying attention. So these words should have a, a, er in there. And I'm going to show you the word. And when I show you the word, I want you to tell whoever's beside you in your house what the diagraph is. And then we'll read the word together. Is that all right? Okay, so remember there's a word in here that I'm put in to try and trick you. That's got a sound that we've not done this week. But I'll see who's been paying attention. Are you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Tell the person in your room what diagraph's in there. It's ah. Sound it out. Ah. Fa. Excellent. Let's get another one. Oh. When I show it to you, three, two, one. Tell the person in your room what diagraph is hiding. Three, two, one. Oh. Excellent. Oh, four. Let's look at the next one. Tell whoever's in your room what diagraph you can see. Three, two, one. What is it? It's uh. Sound it out. K, uh, ul. K, uh, ul. Curl. Like curling your hair in the 80s. In the 80s, I'd say back home. Another one. Three. Tell the person in your room what diagraph's in here. Three, two, one. It's ah, b, ark, b, ark, bark, bark like a dog. Woof, woof. Ah, yes. Oh. Three, two, one. What diagraph's hiding? Ah, sound out. K, art, cart, like an apple cart. Let's do another one. Tell whoever's in your room what diagraph's hiding. Three, two, one. And it's. Uh, sound out. T, uh, n, ip. T, uh, n, ip. Turnip. I love turnip. Tell whoever's in your room what sound is hiding. And I tricked you. It's a tri graph. Three letters that make one sound for that. What am I doing? <laughs> Three letters that make one sound, and it's I. I was like, three letters, that's four. Three letters that make one sound. I, sound out. S, I, T, S, I, T, Sight. Like you've got your I, Sight. Well done. Okay, so let's practice writing our diagraphs of the week. And the first one was, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And I've got this zip wallet here and I filled it with some um, washing up detergent. You can fill it with anything, really. And then underneath, I've put just a piece of card so that when we do write, you can see the color shine through. Zip, remember to zip it at the top or it's gonna go everywhere. But you know, that can be part of the fun. Now you can write it up with your finger or you could use a cotton swab like this. So the first one we're gonna write is ah. And that is around the apple, up and down the leaf. Down the robot, and over his arm. So let's try it on here. Around the apple, up and down the leaf, down the robot and over his arm. And then you can trace it with your finger if you want to. Around the apple, up and down the leaf, down the robot and over his arm. Ah! And then just squish it. Squish it! If you're sharing this between different people, you might want to give it an anti-back wipe. Let's move on to the next one. We've got uh, uh, and that was down into the umbrella, up, down, flick, down the robot and over his arm. Uh, let's try and write it on here. Let's see. Down into the umbrella, up, down, flick, down the robot and over his arm. And you can go over it with your finger. Down into the umbrella, up, down, flick, down the robot and over his arm. Uh, squash, mash, potato. Well, I know it's not potato, but it's good to have a sing song. Remember, anti back if you're sharing it between people. And yesterday's sound, oh, oh. And that's 
all around the orange, down the robot and over his arm. Let's write it on here. All around the orange, down the robot and over his arm. And you go with your finger. All around the orange, down the robot and over his arm. Oh, there we go. Try it for yourself. Okay, ideas for you to revise the words we've been doing this week. You could write them out on pieces of paper or card, lay them out, and use a remote control car to try and drive onto, ooh, drive onto the words that say, drive onto the word. Oh, freak, I don't have a driver's license. <laughs> I actually don't, let's see. Woohoo! Let's see, what's that word? B, uh, mm, burn, let's do a uh, 360 or whatever you call it, I don't have a clue. Woohoo! Well, what's that one? Ah, fa! remote control word. Another game you could play is lay them out like this in a hopscotch format and you could sell a tip them down, call out a word, get your child to hop onto that word. One, two, one, two, get a bit of exercise going there, put some music on and jump to the beat. Or you could take them outside and write them using chalk on the ground and you could leave it there all week and you could just practice it. You could throw a beanbag onto it, toilet roll, we all know got loads of those. Roll a toilet roll out, see which word it stops on. <laughs> or you could hide the words around the house. There's the other one. Ah, t or n ton. Oh, hmm. Need to get some more pasta. Does anybody know where I can get some? Okay, so I've had some people asking, writing, writing, write for a purpose. I know we're all at home now and we're trying to do our best. Give the children a break, let them play, but write for a purpose. You could write a shopping list. So you're in and out of the shop as quick as possible, two meters apart. Write some lovely cards or letters, take them to the old people's home. Old people in your street, I'm sure they would love them. Uh, sanitize. Write a story, write a story. Get your toys from around the house. Write a story about the, your toys and what, what do they get up to during the day. You could write about your favorite book. Write a song, write a song. Get some instrument, make some instruments. Um, write a song about washing your hands. Write a song about your day. Write about your day. Write a, make a diary. Make a diary. That's a good one. Day one, pasta. Day two, pasta. Day three, sent, let's write a sentence now. Mom cooked some pasta and we had cheese on top of it. Yum, yum. Day four, we ran out of toilet roll. Ah. Write for our purpose. See you later.